Hi everyone. Um, so I'm going to do a video on dry brushing. Um, since it's kind of become, I don't know, a more asked question. Um, I started dry brushing back in April, I think, March, April ish. Um, so I'm going to try and do this quick because the first time I did it, it was like 10 minutes. So here's a brush that I got from Target. Um, it's like, I think it was less than 8 bucks. I'm not sure. So the good thing is, is that it's a cheap thing. Um, so it's a bore, it's a natural bore bristle. So you want to research and make sure that you get one that is for dry brushing. Um, so. Um, From my, I'm not an expert or anything, but it did help my skin. And I felt more, I guess, awake after I did it. So you do it in the morning before your shower because it gets all the dead skin cells off. Um, and then in circular motions, it helps with your circulation, obviously your skin tone and and just the whole appearance. And it gets really soft. So I always start at the bottom and work my way up because it's just easier for me instead of one spot down and then another one. So, um, so you want to start with your feet and on the ball of your foot in circular motions. And then to, or sorry, the heel, you want to start at your heel, arch, and then the ball of your feet. And then on your toes. Toes. You can count how many times, you know, to do each spot so that you do it evenly if you'd like. Sometimes I just go just to get it done. Um, and then the top of your foot. And again, you want to go in circular motions, not up and down or, or back and forth. It's circular strokes. So, um, and then once you get past your foot, you do long circular strokes. So, um... I try to follow it for how they show you to go up into um, the different spots because that helps with your circulation. So, Mama. going towards your heart. Okay, and then I, I start with my inner thigh and go up because I have stretch marks in my inner thighs too. So I usually I usually do it longer on the spots where I have the stretch marks. I don't know psychologically, but I think it might work better if <laughs> if I uh, do it longer on those spots. But you want to hit all the spots too. So again, when you rotate, you want to keep it going in a circulation of your lymph nodes and your heart. Is from what I research. So when I go up into my butt, and it helps with um, the cellulite too. So if you have it on your butt and legs, like I do a little bit, um, that's good for your skin too. So, okay. And then obviously, um, I'll do my other leg first, uh, or foot and leg, you know, and then and then I'll start getting up into my stomach. So I was doing. I was doing it this way for a while, actually until a few days ago, and which it seemed to be helping, but one diagram that I saw, it had your stomach split, and then you going downward like that, but I thought it was supposed to go up towards your heart, so um, I should have done a little bit more research to see, um, to see which one was right. But it's been working for me as far as doing it this way. And then I'll kind of go around my belly button. And then in a bigger motion. So, um, and then I have the stretch marks here too. So I try and go this way here. And then up into your armpit. Obviously you're naked because you do this before you shower. Um, and then they have you do it like this. Over your shoulder. Um, and then with your hands, uh, start with your palm. Again, circular motions. 
and then turn. And I say you do individual fingers. Again, this is all with like your circulation and everything too. So from your wrist to your forearm. Again, it's not up and down, it's circular motions. dead skin cells. I don't know if you saw it. Oh. You'll see the dead skin cells come off this. So from what I researched is you can wash it like a couple times a week um, but it has to be dry before you dry brush with it. Um, so like when you're done if you want to wash it with some soap um, so it'll be dry the next time that you do it. Okay and then when you get to the your oh. upper body it shows to do uh, inward so shoulder and down. So it's still going towards your heart. Okay. Look. And then the other side. Oh, sorry. Yeah. It took me some practice um, to get this down. Um, some some will show you do to your shoulders. So if there's any like tension in your shoulders, this should help. Which I need to start doing it more because um, my shoulders hurt. So, okay, so on your back, which is obviously a little bit harder for me, um, if you come up, or this might be easier, up and over, up and over your shoulder. So, if you want to do that and then finish it. Um, and then they say to do it on the back of your neck, which is where your lymph node is, to your chin. So, there. And all this will definitely help you with your skin circulation. It actually, it, it wakes me up sometimes, too, just the... It's like a refreshing feeling. Drink plenty of water. Um, well, it's good to drink water anyways, but especially if you do this. So. And then for your face, um, there is a few that I read. They said don't do it on your face and then to do it on your face. Um, so I've just recently started doing my face and I haven't done a lot. Um, I used to use like the gloves you put on your hands so I could do it. But I would assume that you would still go in like the circular motion, going with like the lymph. I'm sure my skin will look a lot better if if I start doing my face more. Um, like I said, I just always stick to the circular motions because that's what I read. So, um, I wonder if I could find a small, like if I have a small dry brush. So, and then, so, oh, teach you. Uh, so, um, I did take before pictures this last time that I started, the first time I didn't. Um, so there's a lot more benefits than just, you know, trying to help your stretch marks, which I, I'm, you know, I'll admit I started it just because I wanted to help my stretch marks. Um, because I'd actually seen before and afters where, like, this woman's, uh, stretch marks were, like, pretty much gone. But they weren't, like, very big or deep from what I remember seeing. Um, so mine are pretty, they're pretty deep. Um, so, we're in three babies, under three years, 65 pounds. You know, it is what it is. I mean, if it helps, it, it, and if it doesn't, it doesn't matter to me because um, you kind of have to, you know, learn to live with it, I guess. Um, 
So if it helps my search marks, it's great. If not, I'm still getting the benefits of the dry brushing. Um, and then when you're done in your shower and everything else, I I usually use unfiltered coconut organic oil. Um, now if I were to be like having to go out somewhere, I would either mix it with a lotion, which I like the Lubriderm because it's it's not like greasy or anything, um, and there's not like a real scent to it. So it mixes well, and then my friend had got me this lemon one um, that I mixed with it, and it mixed really well. So I, I try to do like a thicker lotion, um, because obviously the coconut oil is already thin once it melts. Um, and then I recently got this Utter Balm, so I'm going to be using that um, too, until, well, because I use the last of my coconut oil um, cooking eggs or sugar. So, okay. And then I've had Fuck. this for a while. Fuck. Um, it's meant for wrinkles, but it was also for stretch marks too that they made. It's kind of expensive, so I've been kind of like saving it until I knew I was gonna do this for a while. So I'm just gonna use this on my stretch marks, obviously, and then I'm gonna still use one of the lotions, and then when I get coconut oil, I'll use that. So I hope this helps. Um, help. I hope more people start doing it because from the research that I, I, I mean that I've done, it's all around good. So, um, so I even have my little like sheet. So I make sure I do it at least once a day. I was doing it twice a day, um, so I'm gonna try and do it once a day. Um, that's my goal. You know, something for myself that makes me feel good. So. Um, take befores, like I said, this is really cheap, so that's that was the nice thing, like when I was researching it, I was like, great, it's going to be something expensive because it's, it's supposed to help with stretch marks and everybody knows that you can make money on anything stretch mark, cream, or whatever related. So, um, I've got my lemon water, yay, um, so keep me posted, and I hope that you see results like I did. Um, and good luck, beautiful, healthy skin.